Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Wolfenstein Youngblood. So before starting uh, um, the, 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 the graphic pattern inside of the game, uh, we will start with Windows. Really important to know this game is running with Vulkan, so they're not using DirectX. And for a reason that I don't know, you want to remove your game mode. Really important. Normally I never use the game mode, but it's worse with Vulkan. You will lose a lot, lose a lot of FPS. So make sure that your game mode is at off, your game bar is at off, and all the capture and all those stuff that you can use in, uh, with Windows, make sure everything is at off. The other software that I'm using is the uh, Intel Engine Standby List Cleaner. Uh, Windows have a lot of issue with this, so this software makes sure that it's purging your standby list automatically, and you can also do it manually. So uh, the guy who did the software is the guy who did DDU, so it's it's a legit software, you don't have any bloat when you install it. I will put the link in the description of the video. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, uh, you have a lot of different parameters that you can change in this game. So first of all, make sure that uh, you're playing with the normal resolution that no you normally play. So if it's 1080p, 720p, 2K, etc. Make sure everything is set over there. The first thing that you need to make sure is the window mode you're playing full screen because you will lose some FPS if you're playing uh, borderless or window mode. The other thing that you, uh, you need to change is the anti-aliasing. Put this one at FXAA. It will give you a nice boost, like four to five percent of your FPS. So uh, it's a pretty, um, it's a, it's a good config. You don't want to remove the anti-aliasing because you will see a lot of line breaking in the game. So make sure that you're using FXAA. After that, field of view. I'm not touching it for sure. If you're uh, getting a higher field of view, you can't reduce a little bit your FPS, like one to two FPS, because you will see more, I and mean, you will need to render more in front of you. Light, put this one at medium, it will give you a 3% of increase. Shadow at low particle and di uh, directional occlusion at off. Those three will give you a nice 15% of FPS, so really important to put those one at low, low and off. Reflection, medium, decal, medium, motion blur, medium, even if you remove it uh, from the previous menu. Image uh, streaming, water quality at low. Volumetric quality, this one really important. It will give you a nice 5% of increase. So always important the volumetric in any game. For the filtering, uh, everything at 2x. LOD switch at medium. After that, um, the async compute over there. Uh, if you have an AMD card, you can stay at on. If you have a null NVIDIA card, card remove it so if you have uh, i don't know uh, the series 500 600 700 even like a 960 uh they have some issue with the ascent compute uh, but on amd car you will not have any issue with this one after that uh nvidia adaptative uh shading make sure that you're using the performance one and the only thing that you need to do at the end is the chromatic aberration depth of field uh, the OF anti-aliasing and the HDR bloom, make sure everything is at off. You will gain another 6% uh, in uh, your FPS. So now we'll show you where is the config file. So now for the config file, you need to go in your C drive, user, the name of your computer, save games, machine game, Wolfenstein Youngblood, and base. After that, you need to right click on Wolfenstein Youngblood config. Make sure that using a program like Notepad++, it's free, you can download it easily on the web. And now you will see a couple of other options that you didn't see in uh, the graphic parameter in the game. So uh, for an example, you can change all the multiplier for uh, light, shadows, uh, even on the water. So use 0.5. So for an example here, I'm at 1.5, you can put one if you want. Uh, it will help you a bit. All the other uh, graphic parameter, they are currently in the game, so you don't really care about them. It's more like if you, after all the changes that I showed you, uh, you still don't get your 60, you can change and tweak some stuff in here. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section of my video. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.